Shalom, people. This is Brother Lyles coming at you with another video. And there's been great onslaught going on in the social media uh, platforms and in the news as the Democrats and the Republicans up their campaign for the black vote. Uh, the forces of the Jephatic nations that know that their time is coming to an end want us to help them kick their kingship down the road a little bit by getting our support either through the Democrats uh, party or through the Republican party to continue their, um, their reign that Daniel predicted would come down. They know if they can get our people to support them and get their voice between either party, that's just gonna extend their reign. They are very afraid. They're testing the waters right now with this uh, thing that's going on. Well, first they, they tested it with Ukraine when they tried to get our voice behind that and we really didn't get behind that. And um, that was the most high that allowed that stuff that they were doing to the Africans that were uh, medical students over there in Ukraine to see what was going on. But then when this thing kicked off with uh, 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 Hamas and, and all them, and, and they seen that we was not going to be on either side, they seen that as, hey, this is a prelude of maybe things to come. And then when that stuff that happened in Chicago, where our people start speaking out, for their unfair treatment, they have been getting on in the, into the grassroots and on a national level to start the, um, the the campaign on both sides. The Republicans, knowing that uh, this immigration thing is big to us, uh, salivating, and but the Democrats uh, figuring that they're gonna just put the the fear monger and the pressure on our people to vote uh blue no matter no matter who and so i'm i'm letting you know that the enemy is going to get into uh family friends i'm telling you it, it when when people think about their souls that I know they're saying, well, you know, we, we, we are not living in heaven right now. We're living right here on earth. But if you ever seen such an era that we're living in where evil is, is so prevalent that people will actually think that um, they're going to be able to check this evil through political means is it's, it's just total, total crazy. If ever there was an empire that politically and militarily, right, uh, could have held, uh, you know, the, the, their state intact. It would have been the Roman uh, Empire, for which this and, and most of the Western powers have their government set off of that example. But even they had to come to an end because of the debauchery that was amongst them because of the very same thing that was going on, but also that it was predicted. The Most High had showed us, showed our people in the book of Daniel that these empires were going to come down. And yet our people want to continue to help the Japhatic nations to continue their reign because it's by our, our, our voice, right? Because the Bible said, once the manifestations of the sons of Yah come, then even the nature itself. Could you you see how crazy the nature is going in this world? How with the sun, with 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 all the the what they're calling man-made global warming, right? Which we know that it, the major portion of what's causing the heating is the sun. Remember Revelations where he said that the angel will pour out his vial on the sun. And that it was scorched men, and men would curse Yah. 
this is what's happening. You see the, all the, the crazy wild animal attacks. Nature, you see all these floods washing everything. Nature itself is tired of the, the rain of the, the, the toe, the iron uh, toes, iron of uh, part iron, part clay, which would not clean together. It's, it's time. It's time for the mountain cut out with our hands to fall on the ten toes and crush it. But the the enemy wants us to, to put our voice and help them continue to keep this thing together. It was predicted by Daniel that the 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 clay and whenever you see clay, it always well not always but for the most part it represents the nation of Israel and the iron. The iron is the Roman, the, the 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 remnants of the Roman Empire, which is the European Union and America, NATO, and all them to, together, the ten toes of Europe, that would try to hold the clay in. But it said that just like uh, uh, iron and clay don't mix, they would start coming together. Well, they're trying to keep them together. They're trying to keep them together by part of the clay, saying, "I want to stay fused." in an unnatural union with this iron, with this uh, Roman uh, model. Our people have felt fallen in love with Rome. And that was, again, predicted when they said what? When, when Pontius Pilate said, is not Yeshua your king? And the people yelled out, we have no king but who? Caesar. And so both blacks on the Republican and the Democrat side are saying they have no king but see but you're saying well we're, we're we're not in biblical days we're not in our land we got to go with the law of the land but if the most high is clearly showing you that this thing is getting ready to come to an end and you will find yourself to try to fight to keep it together it is a wonder that he said in the book of revelations come out from among them and be not partaker of their sins why do you even see some of the europeans some of the, the well, Caucasian people leaving and going to other countries. And most people say, well, I can't leave or whatever. Well, that might be so. But you can't call out your voice for this thing to, 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 if, if for it to come to an a, a end. Because you, you see that this is not a, a one of the uh, uh, portions of Babylon that will be destroyed when it talks about the merchandise of its goods and of its principles uh, being spread out across the world. And you see all this stuff that, uh, uh, and, and, and cools and different things that have been caused by the West. And you want to empower this and continue and think that, okay, we're going to, we're going to get people in and it's going to change. Look at all the black mayors throughout the, the country and look at all the problems that they're having. Do they have any power? We've, we've got, we got black mayors, we got black police chiefs, we got all these things, and 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 you can't tell me that do, these places are not having problems. You look at Jackson, Mississippi. Look what's going on down there with the black that black mayor and the black police chief trying to cover up these black men that have been uh uh, uh beaten or ran over or whatever and thrown in pauper's grave without them even trying to contact the family. These are black administrations. Look at the stuff that's going in on in New York, where at first the mayor of New York was 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 supporting the the immigration coming in, but then when he realized that he wasn't going to get no funds to support all these people coming in, he started speaking out against it. And look at now they're trying to get him for campaign violations, and he got uh 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 s uh, assault charges coming against him, lawsuits because he spoke out. Look at look at the 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 mayor in Chicago, right? Uh, who got the black people got his back up against the wall, but yet he's still avoiding them because he don't want the same fate as the mayor of New York City. You look at the mayor of of uh, Los Angeles, uh, uh, Karen Bass. Look at look at what's going on there with the great homelessness that's there, um, and most of it is our people. Do you see anybody trying to get funds to get them up out of them tents and then I know some people say, well, a lot of them are drug users. They don't want to come off the street, blah, 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 whatever. Okay, so why why is the people that's that can you know 
coming across, they would say, hey, you need to go back to your, your country and pull yourself up by your bootstraps, right? They would tell us that, but then when these people get here, they say, oh, they want they want work. You don't want to work. No, the wages that you are paying certain people is not enough for them to make a living, and therefore it's not coming for them to want to do that. But again, that's because just like we did back in uh, First Kings, when Samuel protested the people when they asked for a king, we said, we don't care. We want a king like the rest of the nations. And he said, this is the man of the king that's going to be over you, what they're going to do. And we've been plagued with that ever since, whether it be in kingship, whether it be pastors of churches that have done great injustices against our community by robbing and stealing and all these other kind of things and holding up economic progress for us by taking the best lands for their properties and, and taking people's money for this tithing thing, which is not up for this age that we're in and holding up people from uh, 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 accumulating wealth for themselves. But then we, we here we go again. We, we, we uh, are willingly ignorant of these things because the Bible said our people perish for lack of knowledge because they reject the knowledge that when you try to show things, certain things to the black Republicans, they don't want to listen to you. When you try to show things to the black Democrats, they don't want to listen to you. And therefore, this is what we get. And this is what we're going to continue to get all of to the presidential campaign in 2024. Well, that th you're going to get fear from the Democrats and you're going to get the, the, the pandering by the, the, the Republican Party to, to try to put their arms around uh, us and try to tell us, you know, we're for you or whatever. But then they, 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 they'll probably not let you bring out the part where you say, OK, I want reparations. They're going to say no on that. So I'm, I'm telling you, be led in the spirit with what you're going to do, because I'm believing that the, the, the most high is, is not mocked. Whatsoever man so he going to reap. All the stuff that they have done unto us is going to come. And the Bible said, be not partaker of their sins when he starts judging them. You already see all the stuff with all these, uh, the, our gods of entertainment, how the Most High is letting them fall. He's letting the stars fall. He's letting the stars fall because he knows that these are gods to our people. He know our singers are gods. Our rappers are gods to us. Our entertainers. He's allowing these things. He's also letting it. He's, he's also letting our political stars fall. He's trying to show us to come out from among them. You might not be able to physically leave America like that, but in your mind and your heart, you say, you know what? I'm not going to be part of this system. I'm praying to the most high for him to send back his son, Yeshua, to rule with a rod of iron and get rid of all this. You see all these storms overseas where storms are just coming in and washing everything. The most high is not pleased with what's going on in, on this planet. And if our people join themselves with these things and think that he they ain't going to get judged in it, he said judgment must begin at the house of, 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 of the master, or the people, which is us. It must begin at us, and he is judging us. He is judging us. Wake up, my people. Wake up. Be led by the Spirit. Come out from among them. Don't be deceived by either side. Both sides are going to make promises that they will not keep. They will not keep, and I'm here to tell you, you're going to have you're going to have family friends falling out with you if you you say you ain't going to vote or if you decide to vote on one side or the other i'm i'm telling you i can see it now there's going to be fights in the street there's going to be people doing all kinds of crazy things because when the spirit of fear takes over people are subject to say anything and then they're going to come back later and say i don't know why i did that i'm telling you it's going to happen amongst us there's gonna be uh, uh, there's gonna be people that's gonna fall out with each other and never talk to each other again in families, depending on who they candidate or whoever they say. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen because they're trying to extend this. But the Most High, He got a certain number of us that need to wake up. And once we wake up, He said, "That's it." He said He came to divide. He came to separate the wheat from the tear. 
And I don't want to be no tear on either side because I'm telling you, both sides is going to tell you they got the they, they got the mandate from y'all. The Democrat going to say, we got the mandate from y'all. The Republican going to say, we got the mandate from y'all. I'm telling you, don't believe what you hear. And so I'm telling you, get, you need to be in prayer. You need to be in fasting. Don't, don't, don't buy into the propaganda on either side. Even though some of their facts might be true, I'm telling you. And if you decide you do want to, I would keep it to myself. But of course, they don't want you to keep it to yourself. They want you to get out and speak to empower them. Because it's something about our voices collective. But I believe, excuse me, that a collective of us enough that could get out and cry out to the Most High, just like it talked about in the book of Ezekiel, that we could be that mighty army and that we will see our king, our true king, Yeshua, come back. So with that, I'm going to ask you to give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to ask you to subscribe. I'm going to ask you to leave a comment. Be blessed.